A Lansing woman's body was found on Monday on a country road in Ingham County's White Oak Township. The 29-year-old's death is being investigated as a homicide, and so far no arrests have been made. Kyle Macon spoke with her mother today and has more on what she'll remember most about her daughter. Kyle? Sherry Siobhan, Alicia Gallegos was more than just a victim. She's a mother of three, a daughter, and a sister to 10 siblings. Her death comes as a shock to the family as they tell me she was loved for her bubbly personality and her compassion. Alicia Gallegos' family says this is what she loved to do, make her friends and family happy with her beautiful voice. They describe Alicia as someone with a big heart that would give the shirt off her back for someone in need. She was sweet and spicy and <laughs> she, um, you know, her and her smile just lit up a room. She was one of the most kindest people ever. I but it wasn't an easy road for Alicia. She battled drug addiction and her mental health, but she never gave up. Man, her strength and resilience, she's got anybody I'll ever know beat to that because you could drop her off in any state in the country and she would survive. And her family says on October 12th, she was hospitalized in Kalamazoo and called her mom. But a few hours later, she left the hospital. She was like, I have to go back to the hotel and get my stuff. I'm like, okay. So I tried calling the the hospital and she had already left and I had seen her in the hospital the day before because I went to see her and I was coming back the next day to pick her up and she had already left and that was the last time I seen her alive. Four days later her body was found alongside a road in eastern Ingham County. Too many people that loved her. The Too whole many. town, the whole city of everybody. Lansing. <laughs> everybody knew and loved her. Her mom says she doesn't know who would do this to her, and her family says the police are working on a few leads, but they believe this could have been a robbery gone wrong. Honestly, I just think that someone tried to take something she didn't want to give up, and she fought back, and they wasn't having it. That's, I don't know exactly, but I, I have to feel, I feel like that's what it was. Alicia's mom says they don't think she had any connection to the area where her body was found. And tonight, the Ingham County Sheriff's Office is still investigating. They're asking anyone with information about this case to call them or Crime Stoppers.